here and I am excited. I'm at the joggles.com booth. Barbara is there. You can see her head in the back. She's the owner. Oh, hey, Barb. <laughs> And I'm going to be doing, I'm doing demos and I am going to be doing a demo using some of their amazing stencils and of course the amazing uh, disc bound watercolor journal that they carry. I love, 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 you know how much I love the watercolor journals. They're amazing and what's nice about them is that you can take them off from the hinges and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to turn my phone down so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, but I won't be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Hopefully, oh. I'm worried this will not stand. Can you, uh-oh, I don't think it's gonna hold. Oops, okay. I don't think it's going to hold, I don't know. We're gonna be, no, here, like, okay, you know what? I have a better idea. No, no, it's okay, here. Like, we're gonna turn it around and my friend here is going to hold it, Nicole. There we go. You're just going to hold it the same way as you are so you can have. Okay, lean on the table. That's good. All right. So, I'm here with Crystal and Nicole from Queen's Crafts. Queen's, Queen's Craft Fair. Queen's Craft Fair, and my memory is horrible. I just met them yesterday. They're the sweetest, most kindest girls and helped me when I was really lost yesterday, so it was great. And I thought it was really nice to do some really fun things with their joggle stencils and this is my own journal that i brought and the joggles disc bound journals are fantastic you've seen them before i've used them in lots of my videos and what's nice about them is that you can take them off the hinges and be able to take them off and that way you can really create amazing um, projects without having to messing it all up in your journal so you can take it off you work with it off, on the on your surface and then you can pop them back in and they're so easy to pop back in it's really really amazing so I mean I won't go too much into these and there's so many different shapes that you can use and I've taken one of a different journal and this is a 140 watercolor paper from Strathmore and it's great because that way you can really create amazing things with it because it absorbs water really really well so I'm just gonna make some room for you here so you can actually see and I'm gonna so one thing that I like to do is I love using the stress oxide inks and because they're watercolor based they're great because you can really use them and they create an amazing effect so they mix really well together and I'm not going to mix them because these are not mine but the nice thing about you see how well it takes the ink right so it really is a great way to mix things together and now all I have to do is pray it and look how much water I'm adding and it still doesn't make any difference. It just mixes all together and it creates these really cool effects, obviously like watercolor. And the paper is barely taking any hit because it's so thick. So that's really nice because sometimes we put too, much media, too many mediums on and then it doesn't work well. You end up with a lot of um, buckled papers and these ones take things really well. I wanna dry this a little bit and you see it dries really quick. You can also use a paper towel and dab out the excess. And because we're short on time, like I'm just gonna do that just so I don't have a lot of... Um, yeah. Now, I should have not done it in square mode. I don't have blending tools somehow. I don't have any, ones here, any blending tools here, but I have stencils and I love stencils. Stencils are really fun to create amazing projects with. And you can really be, you know, like really uh, change things around and create amazing effects. Barb, do you have any blending tools? I do. Oh, can, I have, can we have some? Okay. Uh, Barb has, yeah, Barb has blending tools which work much, much better <laughs> than trying to pad everything on. So, oh, perfect. So she's going to get us some. In the meantime, I'll dry this on. So the nice thing about the stencils is that you can really use them. Perfect. Thank you. Um, 
you can really use them for so many different things now i don't know if you're a stencil lover but i love stencils like i use stencils all the time especially with with sprays so i'm just going to use the dabber blending tool so what is your do you have a favorite prod uh product from joggles uh, my favorite product from Joggles will be the Disc Bound Journal. Definitely, that would be like the most favorite because before, when I was using different journals, they would, you know how like if it's a book, mm -hmm. then you end up, I use a lot of sprays and a lot of water, like a lot of mediums. So what would happen is that it would go through the book entirely or the surface wasn't flat enough and I couldn't get like good designs or good stenciled areas. Mm -hmm. This way, I literally just lift it up and it's perfect. And I can okay. put this back into the, into the book so easily. Truthfully, it's just super, super easy. Sure. And so, so I, the, the, the design is brilliant and there's so many different shapes. So I like working with different shaped uh, journals and we can do uh, after we can walk around and we can show behind all the different journals and stuff so that's and really cool stencils seems to be pretty darn stencils tough. yeah so stencils are tough and they're very good quality and very original designs like she tries to keep things that are not similar to other stencil companies let me see i'm trying to pick another stencil so we see very unique designs that you don't see everywhere else yeah because and they're large so they come in three in many sizes this is the biggest one which is i think 11 by 9 mm -hmm. i could be wrong there's also six by sixes and there's even atc size which is oh. really great so you can oh, wow. yeah the atc size ones are really really good mm -hmm. um what else okay now let's go and like add a different color because i hate the same we're using the same color over and over so i mean Distress Oxide inks are not new. I mean, Tim Holtz uses them like in an amazing <laughs> way. So I can't compete in that regard, but I like certain services that Joggles has. And I've, I've become really fond of partnering with Joggles because of that. Like their products are really great. Sure. So you see, you can just add on and continue adding and continue adding. So what I love about stencils is that you can just continue to add things. You just, you could, you don't have to stop. You take another stencil and you add more layers and more things. Let's see this. Oh, this one is really cool. I haven't seen this one yet. And no two things look the same. No, really and this neat. is what I like doing. Look at this one with the flowers. How cool is that? Wow. This one is that. really cool. So let's pick a different color. What color do you guys think I should pick now? What, now, I really like the way the Distress green. Oxide inks or the Distress Onks, green, okay. Uh, distress inks go on, um, go on these. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Now, before that, before I put the green though, I am going to heat set. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the purple and the blue. It usually doesn't, but I just don't want it to all get re to cover this ugly area here <laughs> i call it the ugly area so let's say put the green here it's such a pretty stencil it is a God. pretty one actually don't own this one and i want now so do, <laughs> they, do they have like little combo packs do they have starter packs the, the uh no they have okay. they have uh the stencils are separate but they're not very expensive like their stencils are because they're all designed by joggles themselves um, I think they they can cut down on the price point. Mm. I mean, I think the bigger ones are more. Yeah. And Joggles has a lot, a lot of sales, like often, often sales. So I will link below um, the link to Joggles because they always have something going on. Mm -hmm. And I've been partnering. I met the owner last year. And truthfully, it's made a huge difference because we've really collaborated together. And it really worked now this is a very light color so you can't really see it i wonder if we should have used something like darker to create those flowers because you can't really see it let's yeah, see I it would be quite a bit yeah you would think that it would show but it does maybe this dark green would have sh would show better let's try that so i want to show you how these flowers look like it's hard to see so so joggles how how long have they been around do you know uh barb how long have you been around since 
2003, we celebrated our 15th anniversary last July. Oh, wow. fantastic. Yep. So how can people get a hold of you? How can they find you? www.joggles.com and my email address is barbara at joggles.com. Oh, okay. And um, any, uh, any certain stencils you would recommend that people that are just starting out in the crafting world ones that are easier for people to use, newer newer people, um, versus... I think the texture content. stencils would be like the most, the, the yeah, best I one. Think choose what you like. Yeah, yeah because she has different something types. something that looks easy, but you don't like the pattern, then you really haven't accomplished all that much. I mean, I do all of our customer service. If you need need help, you send me an email. I might direct you to She's one She's a one-man show. Well, there's more than one of us. Yes. But, um, I'm the person that oftentimes, when, well, always when you send an email to me at barbara at joggles.com, it'll always be me that answers. I'm not at the warehouse right now, so Simon's there, and the girls are there. Our warehouse elves are there mm -hmm. doing their thing. Uh -huh. um, but no, I mean, my job is to help people be creative and be successful at it. Sure. And so, me too. <laughs> That's exactly it. So I just don't sell. She sells. I create. She creates. I encourage. Yeah. We, I mean, so do you do you do everything in house? Then do you design the stencils yourself? And do you guys every, cut the stencils yourself? Not every stencil. And we we sell so many stencils. We don't have a, we have a laser, but not one that can do it in the volume. Uh, so we outsource the stencils. Okay. But everything else that's laser cut. So the disc bound journals, the tags, Best. the journal decks. The chipboard and the tunnel books, all of that we cut in-house on the laser. Oh, we press all of our own rubber stamps. We cut the foam stamps in-house on the laser. So yeah, we Oh yeah, they have new stamps. Look at these. Okay, so you have to see. So these are designed by Kat Kerr, but there's other ones as well. And really cool. They're foam stamps yeah. and you can use them with gel press. You can stamp with them with paint, yep. with uh, inks, with basically anything. And they are really easy to use and clean really easily. So the thing to remember that's really important about foam stamps is that they can be additive or subtractive. So for example, if you put paint, you tap some paint on there with that ink blending tool and you print it, that's an additive technique. But if you roll paint out on a gel press plate and you take a dry clean one of these and you press and lift, right. that's you can take off. Oh. So you can go in both directions, which is really what's so cool about foam stamps. Right. Sure. Wow. Yeah, so it's so, really cool. I don't have a gel press here, but that's uh, I'll get you one of those. Oh you yes, you could have got the gel press, sure. <laughs> okay, so look at so in the meantime I think I'll show you guys. Well, let's lift this up. I did all the green, and now you can really oh, see the green. Wow. Look at the beautiful yeah. designs there. Wow. So that's really neat. That's a great way. Now, the surface from the Joggles Disc Bound Journal is great for gel press. And Barbara's getting us a gel press, so I can show you. And I will use the same thing. I'll use the Distress Oxide Inks. Uh, I, will, I will show you that you can really create any type of design with this. And it's just so easy. And you can just edge the edge things like it's really really just easy to do so there's so many ideas and so many things you can do with it and uh, I mean I don't know I just well, find I'm it really impressed with the fact that you just really doused the heck out of that paper with the water yes and, and look at this took it and it's not all warped and wobbly nope. and you just went along the edge and you didn't rip the paper up no exactly it's so, very very thick it's a, I, I have to say i do love these journals i have um i haven't used my regular journals in a long time <laughs> since last year that's basically i haven't used my regular journals because of that because there's no point of doing that and making it all messy when i can use something so easily as well, this and, and even this the construction right here like right. usually this would tear so wow how nice is that so i'll show you how i'm going to put this back into the journal in the meantime while she barbara oh there we go we have a gel plate so let me show you how to put this back so it's so easy to just put back put in and we're done that was quick. Oh, I, I knew you were going to ask that. I want to say it's... Um, that I don't know. I'll tell you exactly. Oh, so oh, he'll tell us exactly. Okay. In the meantime, we'll prep for this. So we have the gel plate, but I think I'm going to use... I'm not going to use paint. I think I'm going to use Distress Oxides for this as well, just because um you can you it's really cool it's a little bit easier to work with the stress oxide it doesn't make such of a mess especially because we don't have any wipes sure so 
Yes, go ahead. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm so, you here. So this is a six by nine journal. It has 12 pages, so you have 24 surfaces. It comes with the discs, and it retails for... Oh! <laughs> oh she just forgot again. Okay, in the meantime, I'm inking, as you can see. $14. Sorry. $14. $14. $14. $14. And we sell additional pages so that's a package of 10 don't ask me how much because I forgot to look <laughs> but it's 10 extra pages so you don't have to buy the discs a second time okay and I don't know if Karen had a chance to tell you but the nice thing about these journals the spacing between the notches for the discs is identical so you can com you can combine pages of different sizes and shapes Let yes me get something to show. oh here I can show them wow. with this I can show them with this so for example I could take one like this and put, it like that. and put it this way, right? So attach it, attach one of these pages this way. Yeah. Oh, here, show your book so then. So this yeah. is my friend Margaret's journal. She took this one and you can see she's got different size pages. This is a little three by four. This is uh, something else. <laughs> no. This is a six by nine, I think. This is a I love this. I have to make six, one of I these. Think. And I this is a journal ones. that has tabs in it too. So you can make it a planner so you can cool. separate it up. Okay, I want this. Uh, <laughs> okay. Don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I added some light green here. So let's go back to creating. So that's cool. There's a lot of really really neat products. So I'm going to use this page for this, okay? So there's a couple things you can do. The first thing is just literally just spray and press. And then it just gives you the main thing, right? Like the took the coverage, and I like that because it covers everything. It's so easy to use. Oh, wow. I like this. It's really cool. Now let's do this again, but let's do a different color. Oh, I remember. Now we don't have wipes. See, I need wipes. <laughs> okay, let's do the blue now. But I'll do it on the other side, just because I don't. These are not my inks, so I want to make sure that I don't mess it up. Okay, so, oh, there's wipes. There are the wipes, thank you. Okay, so this is where, well, this is what Barb was talking about, that you could either stamp with it or actually remove some of the ink. So for example, I have this one. I'm gonna make an impression here. And you can't tell that anything is on that. But once I press it on here, and let's hope, because sometimes I say that and then it, <laughs> and then it doesn't happen. There you go, you see, you see the actual pattern. So that's removing ink. You could also, let's use a different color. I find this, oh, there we go. Now we have a little bit to clean this, which will be easier. Crystal, you're the best. Okay, there we go. That's smart. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to let you know you have 40 watching. I know. <laughs> Tim Holtz had 300 today. <laughs> uh, Carol. Hi, Carol. Yeah. Martha's home. Everybody says hi. I'm holding two cameras. I know. So. Yeah, my friends are helping here. Okay, so let's add a different color because it's not, these are too similar to each other. It's hard to tell. I'm going to add a little bit of a darker color, maybe this blue, and I'm going to just run it through. Oh, you see, my it's still wet, so it's perfect. Mm -hmm. And the other thing you can do is use the stencil, right? So, no, actually, I'm talking too much. I'm talking and not. Okay, let's do. Oh, this pattern is good. So I'm going to grab one of the stencils, which is in, uh, forget it, not that one, because it's blocked. And Latricia says, thank you for sharing your Hi, Latricia. Oh, she's always following. She's yeah. so sweet. And Tricia says, uh, hello again. Okay. And Mom Barden, aka Heidi, says, hi, Karen. Hi. <laughs> okay. And then from Miss Rustic Ink Angel designs amy renee martha says yippee she's home <laughs> and teresa pearson is watching shirley talese so that's my channel oh yeah, that's Barb, so yeah. i just put this through the stencil right and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to lift it up and it should have the pattern there so what's nice about it that you can press on this and it's funny because gel press is right across the 
away from oh, us. Yeah, so they're we are like, going like to jail for us. <laughs> and look at oh, that. Wow. How cool is that? Wow. So the distressed oxide inks really make a difference. Like they look so nice together. I love that. I really, really love that. So, I mean, look, you can do so many things. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I can just continue on and on and on. Look at these circles. Like, I mean, we can do sprays. We can do, like, I mean, there, like, there's so much to do. And yeah, we're getting a lot of wows. And thank you for showing the gel plate. Okay, these stencils get tangled with each other. This is why I'm, I'm struggling to get them out. Okay, so... Yeah, see this one circle cool. one I am trying to use it because I really want to show yeah, it the struggle is real y'all the but struggle it's, is real the struggle is real yeah, I know where is this it's, I can't even figure out how to untangle you know one of those necklaces that it's really yeah. hard to untangle okay there we go I got it done let's move on okay let's do this I'm going to add some what color should we do we should do purple no how about we do yeah purple I think purple. we should do purple okay bad I feel bad. I need to clean okay, this first. The question is, can you use other inks um, that are not oxide inks on the gel brush? You can use, yes, you can use any type of ink. I would though suggest something that is water soluble because you want to be able to remove it. You don't want to be stuck with having, um, hold on, I have to, <laughs> excuse me, in the middle of a show, I'm like sneezing. Um, <laughs> Two shows. Yeah, yeah two shows. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, you want to make sure that you can remove it from the gel plate. Uh, paint is good, but yeah, it should because once you put the paper on top, you should be able to remove it. People use alcohol inks. Yeah. You can use alcohol ink on gel press, so it's really cool. I wouldn't use stays on. <laughs> no, I would not use stays on. Let's get this. I'm going to apply it. It's easier to apply with the blending tool. I just find it easier to do. It says bless you. Thank you. I know there's a delay, so they just like got my thing when. Okay, let's see. And Penny says, oh my God, last night I was trying to get a stencil out of the drawer and they were all tangled like the old game barrel of monkeys. I know, it's so funny. It's true. It's like really hard. I have this way of keeping stencils in my room, but truthfully, it doesn't help that much. So I'm not putting it everywhere because lack of time but I'm going to actually you can do two separate things the first thing is and I'm gonna grab a different paper for this is you could put the paper over the stencil that way you're gonna get a different pattern it's gonna be like the negative pattern you see so you're gonna get one pattern oh, wow. okay so that's one side then you remove it and you get the negative effect I hope it will show it doesn't seem like it's going to be too dark maybe i'll put it on this side just so they can see it and you can build on it like i mean there's so many things truthfully like i can go on and on and on with so many things that you can do oh it's very light but it's the opposite you see it's very light that's why i didn't want to uh, use it as much but to show you how this circular one looks really nice let's use something else just because it's fun Talisa's nice. Nice. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to actually use the distress stain. What do you guys think? Oh um, yeah. Yeah. So that we will really see how pretty it looks. And there we go. Now it's nice. Okay. I'm gonna get a close up. Yeah, get a close up of it. That's awesome. And then. So what I do is I go back and forth. Like you could, I could do, when I am filming like videos, I'm sometimes doing like two or three at a time because I can go back and forth and use it for different pages. So here I am and I use the leftover, the leftover, because I don't like wasting. Use the leftover <laughs> ink from another one and go back and forth. Let's use this one. I really want to see how this one looks. And I'm going to go, no, where was the other pattern? Oh, here it is. No, it will not show. Maybe I'll use a darker color. Let's use it on both. Ha! I'm going to get two for one. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's move these. This, I don't want this to dirty. These ones that are my... They, okay. Oh, this color will show. Okay, Jen's saying Warren beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Exciting. <laughs> Everybody's making beautiful things. I know, it's crazy. Ooh, oh, I like yes. that. How pretty. And just to make it, oh yeah, go 
was show that I mean I just love building that's what I like doing is I like building one thing over the other let's press so I don't want to waste anything I don't like wasting oh no that was a big mess but still cool <laughs> I love messes so why not I mean look in the back I put behind this there was stuff in there and look what I got on the other side <laughs> you see you get stuff everywhere okay, which so is really cool question. yes do you know how long did this that the stress uh, spray stains uh, last I don't think they ever dry I mean they last as long as you finish until you finish you mean in terms of drying uh, in terms of sprays I guess what probably. do you mean last forever there's no expiration, there's no expiration yeah, on them it just would be when you finish the bottle yeah. right. <laughs> that's when they would last use, right? <laughs> that's yeah. when they would finish when the when there's no more but I mean I use sprays for years and they're never over and whenever I'm finished I buy a new one I mean huh. that's like yes if you are not see when you lift it up yes. oh so I should have <laughs> that's a good point you know what while I was talking I wasn't thinking so that's what happened I actually uh, didn't realize that I should do that okay here let's do it again let's see I'll remove some ink let's see if that works I don't know I'm just playing it's just for fun will it work no it doesn't work hold on <laughs> So let's try with a new, a new, well, we actually will do something fun. Ooh. Oh, again, you see, look, yeah. you, you, and you just arrange them. Just and arrange them. She just, oh, it's, it's this one. It's okay, this the stencils have a mind of their own, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Okay, somebody. Four people trying to get stencils. <laughs> How many people do you need to screw <laughs> right. in a light bulb? Right. <laughs> okay. Which one are you after? Uh, that, that one, I think. Actually, I think, well, I want that circular one, but I haven't been able to get it off. <laughs> so it's just, okay, let's spray on this one. I don't like spraying everywhere. I like kind of having a division that it's distressed. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So let's put this here. Separate that one. That one is the one that's giving us troubles. I'll use that one soon. So what I like is giving it, you know, if you wanted to make this look distressed, you shouldn't put it everywhere. And now you wanted to see that. I'm gonna press. It's just actually going to work. You'll see. Oh, you, you laid down the paint. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So whatever left over, you, use. you can use. Now you could do what you said also, which is okay, I'll spray it again. And then, okay, now we have a bunch of ink here. So we can go and, oh. Oh, and actually okay. create create the ink this uh, way right so you're using it back and forth but they're just tim holtz it's not mine yeah um, or just using anything i was using i was showing some distress oxide inks as well okay so jen asked does the ink reactivate the other layers of ink no actually um actually tim holtz actually you can watch my video on tim holtz that was it's on my channel before and he actually talked about that the distress oxide sprays now and the distress oxide inks they interact with each other but don't, they don't like mess with each other oh, wow. <laughs> it's really good they don't blend they, they um, don't yeah not in the, they don't blend in the sense of like muddles and right. like puddles and stuff right. like that in the brown like they don't become brown that's right. what it is oh let's, there's more color oh it doesn't matter there's more mm -hmm. colors underneath there but it's okay i'll just use these so i wanted to use this really nice stencil i actually love this one and look how pretty it is so this is what i love about this you can continue building and yeah it looks messy but you know what it's okay to look messy it's okay to have fun and to just try and this is why i love these joggle journals because if you don't like it just paint it in white again or just continue trying or add more layers like you don't ha you don't never have to worry about you know making a mistake or or you know like making issues that i mean having issues with layers because you can just add more and more and more and more and continue on like i mean i keep on grabbing pages because i have too much and i don't know what to do with everything and i can go back to these papers so for example let's say i added something here but i'm not sure if i like it that day i can just i can just go back and add more and i can come back another day let's say i don't have time or sometimes i have to go pick up my kids and i'm in the middle of something i just go and do it the only thing distress stains do is they do stain mm -hmm. they do stain a lot what the oxides do not so i mean i really encourage people to just have fun it's really important to 
just experiment with the products and this is why I like this because you can just experiment have fun and just do so many things that so many people like you know are so afraid of spraying I find people say oh I'm so scared of spraying because I'm worried it will go everywhere mm -hmm. well you know what who cares mm -hmm. let it go everywhere let it like expand let it like flow it's perfect I'm, you can I'm so impressed with the fact that you have sprayed that You've saturated that paper so many yes. times in it. I am telling you, the quality is really, really good. Oh. I am not joking about this qual the quality I've of the paper. I've never seen paper yeah. that can take that. It's like, really never. great. Really great. Like, it, like wow. I have to say, like, um, I really like the quality, and this is why I haven't even gone back. I mean, I don't want to diss any other company, sure. but to tell you the truth, like, for me, there's, I said like a few things. First of all, the quality of the paper. I'm sure a lot of qualities are really good, but it's the thickness of it, and it can be for so many mixed media, watercolor, distressing things. The second thing is that you can remove the pages. I mean, you can't go wrong with removing the pages, sure. and you can lay it flat. So it's just really, and it's so easy to pop back in. You can add more pages. You can do what she, what Barb showed you to put different like layers Size. and making like, mm -hmm. that would be so cool to make like a junk journal or something yeah. like that. Yeah. That would be so ideal. And for collaging, you can collage on this. So, I mean, the possibilities are endless. So, I'm really, really happy, everybody, that you came. Thank you so, so much for coming today and seeing my demo at the Joggles booth. Thank you for Crystal and Nicole for being such great hosts and for helping me so much. And <laughs> truly, you have to, they were like, I was so lost yesterday. I just have to tell you a little story at the end. So, I, I came to, like, yesterday, I arrived on Friday. I had a really hard time on Thursday night getting a rental car. I'll tell you all the story maybe another day. They know my story. <laughs> but I was I came to the hall and I was so lost and I bumped into Crystal and Nicole and I just asked them oh can you tell me where this is and they said oh you're Karen Tamir and I thought I knew them from somewhere which I <laughs> I didn't know people say hi to you all the time say hi to me all the time so I just assumed that I knew them and I didn't mean to be rude I ended up they like, took me and they helped me and they got me to all the right places and then I realized that they actually that I we never met before but they're so sweet and so nice so thank you so much girls I'm really appreciative and yeah, say hi. That's Crystal. And what is your channel? Oh, Rustic, tell us. Rustic Ink Angel Designs. And what is your store? And please visit her. Please follow Crystal at Queen's Craft Fair and Rustic. Say it again. Rustic Ink Angel Designs and on YouTube. I'll link that below in my description area so you guys can go directly to her store as well. So I'll put those links below. So that way, if you want to visit, including the joggles.com video, I mean, joggles.com link so you can have everything there as well so thank you so much bye <laughs> bye